That looks sweet. I like this. Pretty fly for a white guy. Yeah, this is looking good. That's a big wow factor right there. Wow. This is beautiful. Hey, Rick, I have a guitar for you. OK. Oh, this is your guitar? Yes. OK. It's a 1961 Fender Stratocaster. So where did you get this thing? This guitar's been with me for years. I've worked on records with uh, Nancy Sinatra and Petula Clark, Tom Jones. It's not unusual. All right. So were you like a studio mus I musician? I was. I was from 1958 till about 1983. I have a partial list of the, the records that I played on. This is how many albums you've been on? Well, albums and films and... This is your name right here, Vic Flick? Vic Flick, that's my name, yeah. I worked on films, I worked on Goldfinger, James Bond. Actually played the James Bond theme, which... Uh... You, you played the James Bond theme? Yes. So, how much are you looking to get out of it? $70,000. I'm gonna call someone up who knows everything about a guitar, knows everything in the world about music. So you know who, you know this guy? Yeah, this is the guy that Jimmy Page would look over his shoulder in the studio and like figure out what he was doing so he could. I'm honored yeah. to meet you. Honored well, to meet you. Well, thank you, Justin. Okay, so what do you think it's worth? Easily sixty, seventy thousand dollars. We take fifty grand for it. I'm looking more towards the seventy, maybe sixty-five. I mean, you're sort of a rock star, and that that's my quandary when I go to sell this. Um, um did you go sixty? I will go $55,000. All right. Deal, yeah, OK. A guy called and said he had an old muscle car he wanted to get rid of. So Chum and I are going to go check it out. Z28. Yes, sir, 1969. All in all, I mean, this was like the pinnacle of the 60s muscle cars. It really was. Wow, that's a clean engine. Put a lot of time in it. All right, so how much you want for it? I'm asking 49000 for it. I was thinking more like thirty-eight. 47 would work for me. I'd go 40. And that's really the best I can go. It's just. Can you go 45 and we'll shake and that's it? I would go 40 and we'd shake. I mean, the problem is, it's a tough market out there for these cars right now. I think that's a, a more than fair price. Well, I hate to give it up, but uh, it's right. a deal. It's a deal. This is Elvis's Superfly coat. I dig it. One of the most iconic pieces of Elvis wardrobe in the collector's market. How in the hell did you get this? I bought this from Mike Moon, who owns the Elvis Presley Museum in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. OK. Do you mind if I have someone look at this thing? I mean, it is really cool. I mean, it's a massively iconic thing. OK. So what do you think of the jacket? This brown one, this is the one. He wore it quite a lot. It mostly uh, to the hotels and back from the airplane. He kept this on the plane. Sure. One thing I really wanted to see is the IC costume label. Ah. Tell me, did you ever see Elvis in this? In this exact one, yes. So you think this is the real deal? I know it is. What's it worth? Mm, 50, 60, $55,000. It's a great coat. So what do you think I should pay for it, chum? 40 grand. $40,000 seems like a really high figure. I'll go 50. I'll go 40 grand. I I'm giving you my best shot. I really am. Mm. 45, I'll do it. All right, man. I wish we could work. Change your mind. Give me a call. You don't want to do 45? I'll go 40. You got it. So this is it, huh? It is. 1951 uh, Chevy convertible that Steve McQueen drove in the movie The Hunter. That looks sweet. I like this. So how much you want for it? I'd like to be in the neighborhood of about 40 grand. Do you mind if I have someone come down and take a look at it? Just make sure there's no major hidden problems, everything's correct? Sure, understand. Wow. I'm really glad you guys called me out for this one, man. <laughs> yeah. This is beautiful. Should we take it for a spin? Is that all right? Whatever you want to do. What are you doing? Well, I'm going to drive it. Yeah, I'm the one buying it. What'd you have me come out here for? Check it out, make sure everything's cool on it. Well, then how do you expect me to check the car out if you're not going to let me drive it? Fine. Thanks, brother. <laughs> I can't believe I'm in the back seat of this thing. How's it back there, Rick? Comfortable? <laughs> I should be driving this car right now. Rick, you should feel this. You'd really like it. Yeah, whatever. So what do you think it's worth? in the low 30s, as far as the car is concerned. Now you've got the McQueen factor. OK. That falls right into your court. OK, well, thanks, Danny. Absolutely. All right, so how much do you want for it? 40 grand. I'll give you 35 cash. Um, can you come up a couple grand? 37? I, I think it's a fair price. 37,000. 
Hey, came in with a 1951 Panhead bike for you guys to check out today. All right, sweet. I got a warehouse in the back. You want to pull it around and reach over there? Sounds good. So this is it, huh? That's it, man. 51 Panhead. It looks pretty sweet. What are you looking to get out of it? 19,000. I got a friend in town. Um, do you mind if I have him take a look at it? Absolutely. So this is it, man. 51 pan. Yeah, this is looking good. Could you start it up for me? Absolutely. Sounds good, man. Quiet, right, man. What do you think it's worth? I would put it at 15,000. I'd like to offer you like 10 grand for it. <sighs> 15. I'll give you 13 grand for it. 14. 13, three, and you got a deal, man. Whoa, 13, that's high enough, man. How about 13, five, and you got a deal? I'm not gonna lose the bike over 200 bucks. You got a deal.